The main propulsion test article MPTA 098 was built by Rockwell International as a testbed for the definitive propulsion and fuel delivery systems for the U.S. Space Shuttle program. Topic. Description Never intended for actual spaceflight, the MPTA consisted of the internal structure of a space shuttle orbiter aft fuselage, a truss structure that simulated the basic structure and shape of an orbiter mid-fuselage and a complete space shuttle main engine SSME assembly, including all main propulsion system plumbing and the associated electrical systems. Later, the very different STA structural test article was converted into a flightworthy orbiter, redesignated OV-099, and christened Challenger. Rockwell and NASA thus retroactively redesignated the MPTA as MPTA-098, though it was never christened with a name. Topic: History. On June 24, 1977, MPTA-098 was delivered by Rockwell International to the National Space Technology Laboratory NSTL, in Hancock County, Mississippi, where it was mated with the main propulsion test article external tank MPTA -ET, mounted in a launch orientation and used for static engine tests. On July 2, 1979, MPTA-098 suffered major structural damage due to a fractured fuel valve on Space Shuttle Main Engine No. 2002. The fracture allowed hydrogen to leak into the enclosed aft compartment, raising the pressure to beyond the structural capability of the heat shield supports, severely damaging the structure. After extensive repairs were completed, testing resumed in September, but on November 4, a high-pressure oxidizer turbopump failed 9.7 seconds into a scheduled 510-second test. Finally, on December 17, 1979, a complete static firing was accomplished that included all three Space Shuttle main engines running at up to 100% of rated thrust for 554 seconds, exceeding the predicted maximum time that the SSMEs would burn during an operational shuttle launch. Topic. Flight certification. The Preliminary Flight Certification PFC, program, which would clear the way for the SSMEs to be flown aboard manned vehicles, began in early 1980. A number of setbacks, including an overheating high-pressure turbopump that shut down an engine 4.6 seconds into a 544-second test on April 16, 1980. In July, the burn-through of a hydrogen preburner canceled a 581-second test after 105 seconds and the structural failure of a flight-rated nozzle shut down a November 1980 test after 20 seconds, slowed progress dramatically. These failures led to a number of critical changes to the SSMEs and their associated systems. In June 1980, due to the number of changes in the SSME design since the SSME installation on Columbia, the three flight-rated SSMEs numbers 2005, 2006 and 2007 which had performed successful individual 522nd mission demonstration test firings on the NSTL SSME test stand in early 1979, were removed from OV-102, shipped to NSTL, and successfully successfully recertified. The engines were then shipped back to Kennedy Space Center and reinstalled on Columbia. On January 17, 1981, with less than three months remaining before the scheduled STS-1 launch date, MPTA-098 successfully demonstrated a 625-second firing that included simulated abort profiles, completing the final PFC test and allowing the SSME design to be fully certified for flight, clearing the way for the launch of STS-1 on April 12, 1981. Topic. Shuttle C 
From 1981 until 1988, the MPTA 098 and MPTA ET remained in situ on the NSTL test stand, unused. In late 1988, the Essex Corporation used the thrust structure of the MPTA as the basis for an engineering development model for the proposed Shuttle C launch vehicle. The model was used by NASA and Boeing at Kennedy Space Center and the Marshall Space Flight Center to conduct fit checks and manufacturing engineering studies. The Shuttle C program was canceled by the United States Congress in 1990 and the model was disassembled. Topic present status The main propulsion test article, without truss work, is on display at the U.S. Space and Rocket Center, Visitor Information Center for NASA's Marshall Space Flight Center in Huntsville, Alabama, alongside the MPTAET which is mounted under the refurbished Pathfinder Orbiter Simulator. Topic. Chronology Topic. Construction July 26, 72 Contract Award July 17, 74 Start of Long Lead Fabrication June 24, 75 Start Structural Assembly of Aft Fuselage January 23, 76 Truss on Dock at Rockwell Downey March 17, 76 Complete Premade at Downey and Delivered to Palmdale 3 May 76 – Complete proof load test setup at Palmdale June 29, 76 – Move truss assembly from Palmdale Building 294 to 295 8 of July 76 – MPTA 098 on dock at Downey 12 of July 76 – Start of final assembly July 24, 76 – Complete MPTA 098 proof load test May 27, 77 – Completed final assembly, transport to Seal Beach 3 June 77 – Transport from Seal Beach to NSTL June 24, 77 – Arrival at NSTL for static firing 10 September 77 – Arrival of MPTAET at NSTL Topic. Test firings. April 21, 78 – First static firing, 2.5 seconds May 19, 78 – Second static firing, 15 seconds June 15, 78 – Third static firing, 50 seconds 7 July 78 – Fourth static firing, 100 seconds 4 May 79 – Fifth static firing flight nozzles, 1.5 seconds the 12th of June 79 fifth static firing flight nozzles 54 seconds October 24 79 sixth static firing flight nozzles scrub the 4th of November 79 sixth static firing flight nozzles 10 seconds cutoff December 17 79 sixth static firing non flight 554 seconds February 28 87th static firing non flight 555 seconds March 28 88th static firing non flight 539 seconds April 16 89th static firing non flight 4 6 seconds cutoff May 30th 89th static firing non flight 565 seconds cutoff the 12th of July 80 10th static firing flight nozzles 105 seconds shutdown the 3rd of November 80 11th static firing flight nozzles 20 seconds shutdown the 4th of December 80 11th static firing non flight 591 seconds January 17 81 12th static firing flight nozzles 625 seconds 1 Topic. See also Boilerplate MPTAET Space Shuttle Main Engine Topic. Further reading 
Jenkins, Dennis R. 2002. Space Shuttle, The History of the National Space Transportation System, The First 100 Missions. Hong Kong, World Print. ISBN 0-9633974-5-1.